Today, I'm going to be talking about an amazing graphics card for true gamers. True gamers only. This is the GT 1030. Don't believe me? Well, let me tell you why. Hi, everybody. Tech the Weave here. Let me start off by saying that the GT 1030, it's not a top of the line graphics card. It's not a bottom of the line graphics card, but it's not going to knock your socks off. My model here, this is the A Asus model. This has a 1260 megahertz base clock with a 1500 megahertz boost clock and two gigabytes of GDDDR5 VRAM. Don't get the GDDDR4 version, by the way. That version's about half as good as the GDDDR5 version. So, I mean, the GT1030, it's not an amazing graphics card by any means. So, how could I say that it's a card for true gamers? Well, think about this. So, the GPU market is all weird right now. All the good graphics cards are being bought up by scalpers who just buy up stuff and then sell it at a higher price. And they're being bought up by the miners too, who buy like dozens of graphics cards because they could make money off them by using them to make crypto coins with silly names. Even the used GPU market is pretty bad right now. You can't get new graphics cards. You can't get old graphics cards. You can't get, even get graphics cards from like five years ago. Just everything's all crazy right now if you want to buy a graphics card to play some games. And that's what gamers want to do. They just want to play games. And that's where the GT 1030 comes in. Because the miners don't want it. They can't make enough poop coins using a card this week. And the scalpers can't sell it to miners, so they don't want them either. The GT 1030 is like the only new card you could actually buy right now that you could actually play games on. And the GT 1030 could play games. It could play lots of games. You could overclock it to get some better performance, but you don't have to. Out of the box, it could play pretty much any game. It plays old games really well. It plays new games not as well. I mean, it runs fine. You'll have to turn down the graphics to medium or low and the resolution down to 900p or 720p, and you're not going to get the highest frames per second on a card like this, but it runs well enough to play your games and have a good time. So here's the thing about true gamers. If you're a true gamer, then you know what I'm talking about here. True gamers are true gamers because they have lots of money to buy the best stuff. They're not hardware collectors. True gamers want to play games. That's it. Gamers like you and me will play games on anything that we have to. We'll play games on our old Game Boys or Playstations. We'll play on our phones or on our tablets or on our old computers or on our microwaves. What really matters is that we're gaming, that we're having fun. True gamers know that the fun of a game doesn't come from the resolution or the FPS. Uh, to, to an extent, I mean, let's be real here. You can't game on just anything. <laughs> well, the GT 1030 isn't just anything. It's a card that plays games. It has updated drivers, and with a few exceptions, this card will play any modern game. If you turn down the resolution or the textures and deal with a lower FPS than you might want at the start, you'll forget about the graphics really quickly when you're playing the game and having fun. Even on low settings, the games still look really good and they'll play good. I mean, people play games on the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch isn't any more powerful than a GT 1030. And the most important thing, here it is, is that you can buy this graphics card. It hasn't been gobbled up by scalpers and miners. It's not a hot commodity because it's cheap, it's available, and it's not for anyone except gamers. True gamers who just want to pwn some noobs on Fortnite, or hang out with their friends in Warcraft, or run over some school children in GTA 5. So that's why I think that this card is really for true gamers only. Because if you buy a GT 1030, you're doing it because you know that playing games now 
Even if it's not perfect, it's 10 times better than wasting your money or waiting for hour to play games slightly better tomorrow. So just go get your GT 1030 right now and don't look back. Get lost in Skyrim or defuse some bombs in Counter-Strike and just play games until you fall asleep at the keyboard like I'm going to do as soon as I finish making this video. So there you go, the GT 1030. Let me know in the comments below. Are you rocking one of these bad boys? What kind of games do you play on your GT 1030? I'd love to hear from you down there. And while you're down there, click the thumbs up button if you're a true gamer. Or click the thumbs down button if you're a miner or a scalper and you wish I didn't have any graphics card to play any games at all. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Tech the Weeb. I gotta go play some games right now. Bye bye.